think of boxing, you might think of smoky bouts in Vegas. But some of the highest profile fights this year are taking place in stadiums. That's why Michelle Steele joins us now from Yankee Stadium. She's got that story, plus how much you'd need to get paid to get pummeled in the face. Michelle? $750,000 for 12 rounds with Miguel Cotto. He's one of the fighters tomorrow that's going to be fighting at Yankee Stadium right behind me, Matt. Uh, he gets, though, Cotto gets $2 million guaranteed to go up against this guy, Yuri Foreman. Now, we're covering this. It's kind of important. Lots of money at stake here because it's the first fight at Yankee Stadium since Muhammad Ali beat Ken uh, in 1976. Ken Norton, that is, 1976. The old Yankee Stadium was a backdrop for 46 boxes boxing events, 30 of which were championship bouts. But let's talk about tomorrow's fight a little bit between Cotto and Foreman. Foreman is the first observant Jew to win a world title in 70 years. He's actually a future rabbi. He's 28 and 0 and will observe the Sabbath tomorrow. That's why they're starting the fight at 11.30 p.m. Cotto, meantime, 7-0 with three knockouts. He's a few months younger, but he really is a sizable Bodog favorite, really a textbook brawler. As for Belmont, Saturday, the third leg of the Triple Crown. We like Icebox here, according to the handicappers. Best odds to win after that win at the Florida Derby. By the way, there are two dudes in the race I want to talk about. Game on dude and first dude. Kind of an interesting nugget there. Finally tonight, the Blackhawks, if you're a hockey fan, uh, Blackhawks take on the Flyers in Philadelphia tonight. They're up in the series 2-1. Bloomberg TV, by the way, going to game five. Could be a decisive game five for the Blackhawks. We'll be talking to NHL Commissioner Rocky, uh, Gary Bedman, as well as the Blackhawks owner, uh, Rocky Wirtz. Phenomenal business story there. So definitely tune in, Matt.